might want to put my ear pro in. Deaf enough. <laughs> When I first saw this gun and it came out, I paid it no mind. Um, largely because I was so busy filming for Noir and just so, many, so, many, so much other stuff that I was working on business-wise. I didn't really pay attention to the gun that much. There was nothing about the gun that I saw that was really striking to me. It was something that I considered to be another Glockish style gun from a gun manufacturer that predominantly made hammer-fired hammer -fired guns. Um, who now wanted to get into the striker fire business. Here's the thing about that though, with CZ, CZ makes phenomenal guns in the way that they make them. They make phenomenal striker, they make phenomenal hammer fired guns. Um, single action, double action triggers, metal guns. They're, they're awesome. So when I saw this, I thought it was dope. I thought it was cool for the most part. I just didn't pay attention to it. I saw it, I was like, huh. CCP 10, cool. But that's where I left it. Then the messages started coming. Call you on the war, call you on the war. What are your thoughts on the CZP 10? What are your thoughts on the P10C? What are your thoughts on the P10? At a certain point, I had to tell myself, I might want to look into this gun. Um, as much as I don't really kind of care about it, not because I think it sucks, but just because I didn't have the time to really care about it. So finally I got my hands on it. Um, in hand, it's interesting because it doesn't, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, it feels like an affordable gun. What I'm not saying is it feels cheap, but it feels like an affordable gun. I did look at this gun and like this is an accessible gun. This is a gun that is made well, but not overly engineered in the to the degree that I'm paying in excess of what I should be paying because of the science involved in it. It's like, they looked at it, they were like, how do we make a gun that's a strike fired gun that's reliable, that looks decent, and isn't gonna break the bank? And you have the CZP-10. So, I'm gonna shoot it for the first time. First mag. And let's see how it goes. I want to put my ear pro in. Deaf enough. I usually double up when I'm shooting a rifle. I don't double up whenever I'm shooting a handgun, especially outdoors. Um, I probably should anyway, but it is what it is. I'm going to preserve my thoughts for a split second. And I'm going to do some more shooting. Man, these angle shots, people won't ever tell you this, but these angle shots are incredibly difficult. And yes, am I using that as an excuse for why I'm missing? Absolutely. But they are incredibly difficult. It's like my eyes just can't I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I will say, this magazine drop is positive as hell. That surprised me. That thing just popped out of there. You don't get that a lot. Come on. Just like that. All right. We got these guys over here. All right, so the trigger. I like it. It isn't Glock-esque. It isn't like a... It's different. It looks like a Glock trigger, but it doesn't feel like a Glock trigger. Um, it's very positive on the reset. It, it, it it's kind of bounces back at you with a little more force than normal. Most guns kind of slide into the reset. This one kind of pounces into it. Um, the take up is really smooth. Honestly, the take up feels 
much like the Gen 5 Glocks take up. Um, if I'm gonna have to compare it to a trigger right now, it's close to that. The only difference is, let's see, you got this, this guy. I mean, I feel like I, there goes a fly. I feel like the trigger on this gun has a little bit more of a definitive wall and it's a shorter trigger. Not a, not a lighter trigger, but a shorter trigger. And another thing, this grip texturing, even though it's very Glock Gen 4-esque, I mean, essentially it is Gen 4 Glock texturing. I feel like they've done a better job at it though. I feel like, and the reason why though, is because of the grip texturing on the back slide, on the back of the, the back grip. If you notice here, it kind of has this, they're almost at an angle. And so what it does, it creates this kind of lock-in effect on the back of the gun, where I tend to experience most of the sliding in my hand and not so much on the side. But here, it literally just, it just forces your hand into the gun. And I love it. The gun doesn't want to ride up, it doesn't want to slide. And the beautiful thing about that is from a concealed carry standpoint, you don't have to deal with this part scraping against your skin. It's only this part, and this part is actually a lot smoother. But this part here has this kind of angled texturing that, that kind of locks in with your hands, almost like a cheese grater. Um, but yet it's still not uncomfortable. And of course you have the texturing up here, which I think is phenomenal. Yeah, this trigger is better than the one on the Gen 5 Glock, just because it does a better job at, I don't want a headshot. There we go. All right, what do we have here? Oh, we got a gang of them. I got a whole selection. Ooh. Just like that, I'm out of bullets. I always, always go out of bullets on the best shots. CZP-10C, first two mags. I gotta say, it's, it's a very impressive gun. I like it a lot. Um, it's definitely a gun that a lot of people, as I've already seen, are going to love. And for all intents and purposes, let's just be freaking real. It's, 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 it's based off of the Glock, which I don't have a problem with. I don't have a problem with companies doing that, as long as you're improving on these shortfalls. And right now, I mean, this came out prior to the Gen 5. So now this gun is completely ambidextrous. The magazine release, the magazine release is just positive. That is just phenomenal. Like there's nothing worse than doing the wrist flick, the flick of the wrist with the gun and you have the gun and you're just, you're trying to just yank it out and doing all this other crap. And here, boom, just like that. Uh, so that's one thing I love about it. And I know it's about to like a lot. Uh, other than that, I, I, I think I'm going to enjoy shooting this gun. I think I'm really going to enjoy doing a review on this gun. So there you have it. First mags, CZ P10C from CZ. From yours truly. Before you go, I want to tell you about the new online store shop, MrColeonNoir.com. Here you can grab your favorite pieces from the Pew Pew Life, Ammo Sexual, and the new Coleon Noir line. You guys have been asking for the CN Logo hats for a while now, and now they're here. I'm also really excited about the line of tumblers and water bottles that I've added to the store as well. Now you can show your pride for the lifestyle we all love and stay hydrated all at the same time. So click the first link in the description box and grab your gear today. What's going on folks, this is Coleon Noir. If you like what you saw in this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button that should be located on the bottom left portion of the screen. I mean, come on, who are you fooling? I know you want to.